So this is Royce Kick of Legend here at Michigan Kickboxing Academy and today we're going to show you how to deal with the left low side kick. So we're seeing a lot of people use side kick and front kick more in competition and so I want to do a short tutorial on how to evade the low side kick and then how to come back with some counters. So if we're in orthodox versus orthodox and Peter throws left low side kick to my front leg, I'm going to just escape the leg to the inside. So it's just a very simple motion and I'm going to do that after I see the legs start to come down so I know it's not a fake or moving into some other kick. And then if Peter lands forward on the kick, it's pretty easy to just skip that into a right kick. Once again, escape, right kick up into the thigh with the shin. Or escape, land forward into punches and the knee. So this is a little more subtle, it's a little more um, fun to do, I guess. So when he comes in, we're going to escape and ride it so that as he lands forward, I'm off balancing him. Uh, if you're in competition, of course, you don't have so many targets here in this line, so you're going to probably sh shorten that up, throw either uppercut, body hook, and then left knee, or hack into the leg once again. So once again, he comes left low side kick, I ride it, uh, overhand right, left to the body, and then maybe hack to the leg or knee to the um, kidneys. Or I'm going to escape out and just hack up into the lead leg. So there are two primary ways you're going to see people attack left side kick. They're either going to step in, stop the leg, and then come back out to kicking and punching range, or they're going to come forwards and then land forwards into their hands. Part of the reason is because side kick isn't part of the core arsenal, a lot of people who try it, they don't always have the balance to come back in a controlled fashion, especially in the heat of competition. So when Peter comes with his left side kick, it doesn't matter which one he does, I can either come back with that right kick, or come back with the hands. It's a very simple evasion, so even when I'm dead tired, I should be able to do this. This is the classic technique. And you'll notice that even near the ends of fights, people are throwing that side kick to keep their opponent away from them. And a lot of times, their opponent's just letting them land it. So the core idea to train this motion is Peter's gonna throw left side kick, I'm gonna wait till it starts coming down, and then do my shuffle to the side. My weight is on my right foot, so I can come back with punches, I can come back with a kick, or I can skip out even farther to the side if I wanna change the angle some more. If Peter is in southpaw stance, and he throws that lead side kick to my leg. I'm going to do the same escape and then come back with a tie kick, or I'm going to escape and come back with a very hacking kick to the top of his thigh. The main thing you've got to watch out for is a southpaw is going to follow with that left cross. So I'm either going to get far up to the side so if the left cross comes, I'm not in the way, or if I do that hacking kick, I do want some kind of guard up because it may be coming straight down the pipe right after he lands. Once again, it's just escape to the side, come back with right kick, escape to the side, ride the thigh in and off balance him, follow with your punches, escape to the side, right tie kick, escape to the side, hacking kick. This is Roy with Peter here at Michigan Kickboxing Academy. Hope you found that lesson useful and you can use it in your sparring. Keep your chin down, elevate your striking.